Masamang balita para sa ABS-CBN. Mismo si Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drillon na kakampi ng mga dilawan at ng ABS-CBN ay umamin sa interview sa kay Karen Davila na pag hindi na-extend ang franchise ng ABS-CBN pagkatapos ng pag-expire nito sa Marso 30, 2020 ay pwede na ipatigil ang operation nito as a broadcast company. The Supreme Court has settled the issue squarely, sabi ni Senate Minority Leader Franklin Drillon. Kaya po naghain si Drillon ng Joint Resolution No. 11, lalaghingi na bigyan ng ABS-CBN ng tatlong taon nagdagdag sa franchise nito. Sabi ni Drillon, magiging katumbas sa batas ang Joint Resolution No. 11 kung ito'y ipapasa at i-approve ng dalawang Houses of Congress, ang House of Representatives at ng Senado. E isa ngayon nga po, yung House of Representatives ay hindi pa rin tinatalakay yung franchise application ng ABS at CBN. So siguro mahirap yan yung binabalak ni Drillon na makakuha siya ng majority ng House of Representatives na i-approve ang Joint Resolution Number 11. Now granting that the two Houses of Congress will approve the Joint Resolution Number 11, ay eh, kailangan pa itong pipermahan ng Pangulo ng Pilipinas. Will the President sign that Joint Resolution? So anyway, subalpal po dito si Karen Davila. Siguro naghahanap ng kakampi. Akala niya siguro na ipagtatanggol pa sila ni Drilon. Pagkatapos po na ipinalabas ni Bubi Tiglao yung Supreme Court decision uh, na tinalakay din natin dito na nagsasabi na no franchise, no broadcast ay umatras na si Drilon. Inaamin niya na na hindi po pwede magpatuloy ng broadcast ang ABS-CBN pag hindi ito nakakakuha ng franchise. Ito po ang interview ni Senate Minority Leader Franklin Rilon with Karen Davila sa ANC. It is necessary because uh, there, are, there are Supreme Court decisions which says that the NTC cannot issue an operating permit without a franchise being granted to the uh, to the license to the uh, licensee uh, that's that's settled uh, by the supreme court therefore on april 1 if there is no extension of the franchise kaput tapos eh cbn the the solicitor general will go to the supreme court and say uh, i'm asking that you enjoin abs cbn from further further broadcasting because they have no more franchise so we we have filed this because we have no more time to tackle the franchise for 25 years mm -hmm. Karen, congress has only seven session days and uh, after march 11 we go on our lenten break we come back may by the time we come back may in may the franchise is no longer it has expired so that is why uh, i filed this bill this joint resolution in order to give congress time to review it's not for abs-cbn it is for congress to be given time to review the very serious allegations made by the solicitor general in the supreme court including violation of by abs-cbn of the franchise by having uh, by having pay-per-view uh, by uh, this uh, philippine depository receipts scheme and a few others which cannot be tackled uh, in in the remaining time left that is why we said extend the franchise for three years for the benefit of Congress so they will have time to review this. Yes. Do you believe that? No. Why not? As a lawyer. As a lawyer. Because that is a view expressed by politicians on the congressional floor, both in the Senate and in the House. And in fact, it was upon my questioning uh, the sponsor that this position of uh, the politicians came out of the, of, 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 the, of the senator. The Supreme Court has squarely ruled 
that uh, the recall that uh, that uh, a franchisee cannot anymore operate as a broadcast station if there is no longer a franchise. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, there is this view, but you are taking the risk that uh, the Supreme Court will rule otherwise as it has ruled in some cases. Mm -mm.